Hello everyone and welcome to Bevan's Bricks. In today's video I wanted to do a, a really quick how-to video. And what that video is for is how to make this really unique but ornate stained glass windows. It gives a really great look to any mock that you may want to do as far as a church or a chapel or a cathedral or whatever you want. I've seen a lot of different techniques over the years and I recently discovered this one and I just thought it was a really awesome technique and I wanted to share it with you guys. So the first thing I want to talk about is the parts that you need. And the parts, it's again, we're talking about the stained glass portion of it. It's just two really easy parts and I'm going to start something new with my videos and that is I'm going to be putting the part numbers to pop up on uh, the screen as I'm discussing them. The first part you're going to need is you're going to need these one by two by three window frames and you're going to need a whole bunch of translucent in whatever color you want cheese wedge pieces. And now let's get started with the build. Now again to do this technique you need one frame and you need a total of eight cheese wedge pieces. And the trickiest part about it is just remembering which orientation, if you will, that the pieces actually have to go to fit inside the window. So the first thing you want to keep in mind is when you're looking at the cheese wedge piece, the part that actually the stud would normally go inside of for you to snap it to another piece of plate or brick or whatever, always goes towards the inside of the window frame. So with that being said, what you're going to do, I'm going to lay these out before we set the window over it. We're going to put one down this way with the brick piece there. And then we're going to take another color and we're going to lay this down, get that out of the way, with the stud piece again facing the inside. You always want the smooth long slope to be on the outside. Again, we're going to take this piece, we're going to take him down, and we're putting, whoops. We're putting them down like this with the stud again facing the inside, the stud hole anyway. And now we're going to take our red one and once again put its orientation towards down and put its stud on the inside. And now we're going to take our window frame and kind of slide it over to hold that into place. And now that we have those in there, we're going to build the next half of this while it's in the frame. So now we're going to, again, the stud goes up on top, so we're going to take that and put that down first. Now we're going to take our next piece, and again, with the stud opening to the inside, and we're going to place that one there, if I can get it to go in here anyway. And now we're going to take our next piece, and we're going to come over to this side, and we're going to put that one right there. And then this is the hardest part of the build. We're going to take this last one, and again, with the stud opening to the inside, we're going to take that, and you have to kind of push it, and hopefully it doesn't slingshot on you, but you kind of got to push it into place. And it's not cooperating because I messed up on that one. <laughs> so excuse me on that there we go now it'll go in but like I said again the most important thing is, is that the stud piece is always to the inside and that gives you a stained glass window uh, and I think it is just a beautiful beautiful technique and the awesome part about it is it doesn't matter if you're on the inside or the outside of the building it really looks good. It's a nice finished product for somebody that wants to do mocks and wants to have the window glass be able to be decorative from both the inside of the building and outside of the building. And anyway, that's all for today's video on how to make this particular style of stained glass windows. Uh, I will be doing a lot of other variations of stained glass windows and trees and other things as long as you follow along on my channel. Um, and if you get a chance, don't forget to check out the links in the comments and descriptions uh, sections of my video as any and all sales from those links do help to support my channel. So anyway, as always, thank you for coming to Bevan's Bricks. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share below. And we'll see you guys next time on Bevan's Bricks.